So basically I've gathered all of my makeup here. The first thing I'm gonna do is organize by category, right? So I'm going to get everything that's in the same category and put it together. So like right now I am collecting all of my brushes that I see in this fray. Okay, so we have organized the makeup into categories, you know, so all of my primer and setting spray is right here. My face products, skin products are right here. Lashes, eyes, eyebrows, eyeshadow, all of my blush and highlighter is going to be right here. And then over here is going to be all my lip products. This belongs here. Um, that's going to be all my lip products. And then this box right here is a giveaway box. And then this right here is a throwaway box. And we're going to go through my makeup one by one. So this is going to be crazy, you guys. We are going through my entire makeup stash, which isn't that big compared to most people's. Let's start. Um, we're going to start with primer and setting sprays over here. I'm going to put this in the giveaway pile. Um, the J1 Jelly Pack, of course, I'm keeping. And then these three are setting sprays. This is NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. This Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray uh, in the 24-hour wear formula. And then this is NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh. This is a sample of Drunk Elephant's Anti-Pollution sunshine, sunshine Drops. The Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. Pat McGrath Labs Foundation, of course. But, like, I love this foundation. I love everything Pat McGrath. So the Pat McGrath Concealer stays. This Pat McGrath Powder, Setting Powder stays. This Pat McGrath... Uh, under eye setting powder also stays. Um, this Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Light Beige. Kind of use it just for like body makeup. This is the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks in Amber. NYX HT Studio fin Photogenic Concealer Corrector. It's in the green shade and like I said these are Giorgio Armani uh, foundation samples. Next we're going to go into my lash products. So these are Lashify lashes. This is the Lashify fusing wand in the pouch, keeping this. So basically all the Lashify stuff I'm keeping except for this. I am giving away this Lashify bondage with Charcoal Flex because I had an allergic reaction to this. Lash growth serum, of course, everyone knows this. Uh, these are individual cluster lashes. Then this is a lash coating from my lash extension studio mascaras and honestly the only mascara i'm going to be keeping is going to be this thrive cosmetics liquid lash extensions like it's a tubing mascara this nyx proof it waterproof eyebrow primer actually really works bia last auto gel eyeliner and this stuff does not budge I put this on my under eye waterline and I don't get raccoon. Ico's Black Magic Liquid Liner. It really doesn't smudge. It has great lasting power. The brush is really great and gives me great control. Pony Effect. This is their deep brown Pony Effect contoured brow color. This is basically uh, eyebrow mascara. This is the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP and one of them is ash brown and the other one is dark brown. Um, I'm Mimi color pattern palette. It's a K-Beauty palette. Only other eyeshadow I own. It's a Sephora Colorful Matte in Strawberry Macaroon. It's called Brilliant Eye Brightener in the color Stella. The rest over here is glitter. So let's go over this glitter. This is a Tarte Makeup Mermaid Glitter Gel. This is the Milk Makeup Glitter Stick in Techno. I Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner and Beam is this product. It's a this is a Etude House Lovely Cookie Blusher and it's in like this lavender shade. And then this is more like a pink lavender blush. Oh, uh, this blush, by the way, is Sephora Colorful Matte. This Jelly Dough Blusher from Holika Holika. Next up, one of my favorites 
is a Glossier Cloud Paint in Puff. Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in Bikini Martini. I also have this highlighter, which I really love. This is 16 brand Mochi Packed. And this is, I think this is called Peach, yeah, Peach Light. My Fenty Beauty, uh, of course, the Trophy Wife. I also have this uh, Kilowatt Foil Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset Fenty Beauty Hollow At Me Diamond Bomb 2. This stuff, this is the Diamond Bomb one, and this is Ambient Lighting Powder. This is Ethereal Light, and this one is Dim Light. Blush from Hourglass. This is like this really pretty, it's called Ambient Lighting Blush and Dim Infusion. This is um, the Ambient Lighting Edit Palette, and um, it has a bunch of the Ambient Lighting Powders, uh, but this is my second or third one of these Ambient Lighting Palettes. This is Pat McGrath. Skin Fetish Highlighter Bomb Duo Skin Fetish uh, Highlighter Powder and, and this is the Bite Agave Lip Mask and then this is the Dior Lip Glow Pomade. Probably my favorite lip gloss is going to be Pat McGrath. This is the Milk Makeup Oil Lip Stain. Fenty Beauty, this is the Diamond Milk um, Lip Gloss. This Lip Glow Oil from Dior. This is Candy Yum Yum, of course, the legendary Candy Yum Yum. And then this is Real Sexy. And these two are Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipsticks. One is in Candy Venom, and the other is in Ballerina Blackouts. These are all YSL stain type products. These two in particular are from the Tatouage Couture Matte Stain line. This is the YSL Water Stain lipstick, and it's in this like really pretty coral color. So this is like my KBD lip stuff. This is, I've been using for a really long time. It's called Peri Para Tints. This is from Berry Som, and it's called My Lip Tint Pack. So now that my makeup is all like kind of organized into groups by function, I am going to further organize them. Basically, I divide my makeup into stuff I use a lot and stuff I don't use that much. So I'm going to fill up my Kid A starting with primer. It's my fave primer that I use anytime I wear makeup pretty much, so that's going in there. Um, the next thing that I really love is my Pat McGrath foundation. Basically all my Pat McGrath skin stuff. So the powder, the under eye powder, the foundation, the concealer, I'm taking all that with me. I am also taking in this Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 because I like using this serum as my highlights. It's very dewy and stuff. I am also going to be including in my kit this Fenty Beauty Amber Match Sticks because I need a contour stick to kind of do the perimeter of my face and I this is what I bought it for okay so next thing I'm gonna put in there gonna be my Latisse this is just a team stuff because it's basic like lash growth serum I like to have that every day I'm going to add this liquid lash extensions mascara because it does not smudge so if I ever want to do my um, lower lashes in mascara. I will this is like my go-to because it doesn't smudge or you know raccoon Underneath your eyes and it's easy to take off So for a team eyebrows, I'm going to put in the two Fenty Beauty brow MVP pencils in this pony effect brow mascara then lash comb a team This brown eyeliner which lasts and does not smudge underneath your eyes. I am going to also put in the A-Team. I recently discovered it, but I really like it. What else is on the A-Team? Glossier Cloud Paint on the A-Team. And for a highlighter, it would have to definitely by far be this Pat McGrath Highlight Stick and Bomb. That's my A-Team right there. I also would like to include like a peachy highlighter. And I'm, it's kind of a toss-up between these two. The Fenty Beauty is a lot more sparkly and dramatic, and the Mochi Pact is a lot more subtle. I will probably go with the Mochi Pact and leave the Fenty Beauty for my B kit. So Mochi Pact is more of the everyday, so it's going in my A kit. If I had to add some lip products to my A kit, I would have to use this Lip Glow Pomade. I want this in my A-Kit because first of all, I really like this product. Secondly, 
it's almost finished so I really just want to use it up so, so all the YSL stains are going in my A kit just because I really adore them that much and I also wear a gradient lip a lot so I'm just gonna put in the ingredients for the gradient lip I like to wear which is gonna be this um, mad velvet uh, matte stain type of deal and then I'm gonna put in my everyday gloss that I love my Pat McGrath that's also a kit all right that's it for a kit actually so next thing I'm putting together is my B kit my B kit contains the looks that I want to pull so I'm going to actually put all these Giorgio Armani foundations in there because I really like the Giorgio Armani foundation I just uh, don't feel like buying it because I already have a good foundation but th these are great because I can mix the colors together to get my exact shade so I think B kit is going to contain a bronze look and a peach look so I am going to also include this eyeshadow palette that's peach I'm going to put my lash coating my secondary lash coating in here I am also going to include this jelly dough blusher. I want to include this eye brightening pencil, this proof it waterproof eyebrow primer, and this black magic eyeco liquid liner are gonna go in this kit. Okay, other stuff going into the secondary kit is going to be this Fenty Beauty Hollow at me highlighter. That's really pretty this Pat McGrath powder highlighter. So for my hourglass, I am going to put this one into my B kit because it has a nice mixture of all of them and these are almost done, so I wanna use these up. Next, I am going to be putting my lip products in my B kit and the ones that make the cut are going to be these right here. So now that I like know what is going into my A kit and B kit and C kit, um, A kit is going to have my everyday stuff, B kit is going to have like some looks, and then C kit is going to be all like my event, festival, that type of makeup, like big glitter, bold colors. I'm going to put my Team A makeup into this box so that I can easily access it, and I just want to organize it. I'm trying to just stand everything up. I don't know if you can tell. I am trying to avoid laying anything down. I'm also trying to do this by categories. So like lip products over here. And then I am going to start stocking this side with my B kit. Alright you guys, we went from that mess to this, so yay! Alright guys, thank you for joining me. Bye!